Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a free update to the unwrapping script I created that makes doing UVs in Maya really fast. This script is super powerful when combined with the 3D Cut and Sew tool, so let's check it out. If you're not familiar with the 3D Cut and Sew tool, this was a tool introduced in Maya 2018, and it can be found under UVs, and then enter the 3D Cut and Sew tool. Now, right away, this tool, when you enter it, is super buggy what it does to your display mode in the UV editor. So if you enter the tool and it doesn't turn purple like this, sometimes it turns the checker on and sometimes it doesn't. Um, that's completely normal. I get a random kind of uh, a viewport change almost every time I enter the tool. Just to quickly go through the tool, we'll turn on the shaded and then the um, colored shaded. So each shell is a different color. So to do that, you left click here and then you right click there to turn on the different colors. So now that we're in the tool, what is super powerful about this is you can cut the UV shells uh, right here in the 3D viewport. So if you double click to select an edge uh, a loop, it will actually cut that into a different UV shell. And you can tell it's cut into a different shell because it's changed colors. So let's say we double click there, that's a new shell. Double click there, that's a new shell. Let's put a seam down the side, double click there, and there, and there, and so on and so forth. If you want to remove that cut, you can hold control on the keyboard and do the same thing. Double click to get rid of it, to reintegrate that shell back into your model. And if you wanted to do a single click, you could select a couple and you can press X on the keyboard to cut those. And then again, you can hold control and click those to integrate them back into uh, the main UV shell, basically sew them back together. If you run into an end gone like this and uh, you can double click there and it's fine, it'll cut the shell. But when you double click here, because it's an end gone, it does nothing. You can actually just left click and drag the mouse around to do the cutting. So just click and drag. Go around there, whoops, click and drag, and then boom, there, cut that guy out as well. So uh, same, you can do that here too if you wanted to, like it doesn't actually matter where you do it. It's just easier to double click. But if you click and drag, you can uh, get the same result there. You can see it's highlighting in white because I have uh, UV border edges uh, turned on in the viewport. So same thing there. It did change color, but it just happened to choose like a random color that's like really similar. There are a couple extra hotkeys as well. So uh, if you hold down tab, you'll see it will pre-select highlight the ring. So if you didn't want to bother double clicking, you could do a single click to get that and that and that if you wanted to. Um, and then if you want to see all of the hotkeys, you can actually just go to the go to the UV menu up there and then go to the 3D cut and sew tool and go to the options box and expand this, whoops, expand this little guy here. You can go down to keyboard shortcuts. And that'll actually show you everything that I just described, uh, plus a couple extra things uh, that you may or may not want to use. So where the tool gets really powerful is you can quickly cut stuff here, cut stuff here. And then if you hold down right click and you go to component and then you go to UV shell and then you select a UV shell, if you press D on the keyboard, it will unfold that UV shell over here. So you can select that one and press D and select that one and press D. And so it can be a really fast way to cut up your model and unfold it kind of uh, in real time. Uh, if you want to unfold everything together, because it's all stacking on top of itself, what you do is you just drag select the whole model and then press D, and then it'll unfold it together. So that's pretty cool. But the downfall of this tool is actually the fact that you have to switch component modes to do the unfolding. So that can be really painful going back to edge, cutting an edge, and then having to right click hold and then go back to UV shell just to do the unfold and see the results. Oops, I have to select all those and do that. That can also be annoying having to drag select the whole model. So that's why I created the script in the first place was actually to get rid of that step because it's kind of too slow and annoying. So one of the updates is if you uh, go to the unwrapping button. That's the that's the tool that we've updated. When you click it now, the first thing that you're going to notice is it actually launches a little tool, which is handy because I've put some uh, extra features in here for you guys. So basically, uh, what we've got here is we've got the checker map tool going on. So if you click this button, it's going to apply the checker map, set all the correct settings here, so you can actually see what you're doing in the UV editor. And then as you're mapping, um, I kind of can't live without this thing now. As you're mapping. Basically, if you hit the plus icon, it's going to make the checkers smaller. So you can see what you're doing as you zoom in to see how the stretching is going on there. And as you get farther away, 
you can hit the minus button and uh, it'll make the checkers bigger. So I wanted to add that tool into this tool as well. The next thing that I've added is just a planar map camera button. So this is quickly to just get UVs on your object. For example, if you had some really weird UVs to start with, or maybe you didn't have any UVs at all. Oops, just turn the grid on so you can see what's going on there. So let's pretend you didn't have any UVs at all. You can just, before you start unwrapping your model, you can just quickly click this button to get some baseline UVs on your asset and then start going. Let's turn the checker on there to see what's going on there. And then I've built the 3D cut and sew tool directly into the toolbox. All you have to do is select your model and click the button and it will enter the tool. And what's really nice is it will actually set the checker and the dimming and all of that stuff consistently for you. So like I said, Mine's always really buggy and I'll get like a different result in the viewport. And uh, so I've just hard coded some of the values here. And those values are the same thing that you get with the checker map as well. And then while you're in the 3D cut and sew tool, what's really nice is, you know, you can start marking up edges or doing whatever, but you can use this tool in conjunction with it while you're working. So you don't have to like exit the cut and sew tool to uh, change the uh, size of the checkers on your model there. So it's pretty cool. So now that we've entered the tool in a more consistent way, basically what the script does, if you haven't used the script before, is so you'll just double click here to make a new shell. Let's make a new shell there. And then you just click this button once and it unwraps here automatically. Now, the super cool thing is I'm still in the 3D cut and sew tool. So if I double click here to add another shell and then I press G on the keyboard to repeat last command, I get it unwrapped over here automatically. So let's say add one, add one, G. And boom, you're seeing a live update as you unwrap your model. So double click, press G. So I'm never leaving the left side of uh, the viewport. I never have to go over here. I don't have to do anything. All I'm doing is cutting, cutting, G. How does it look? Oh, maybe I don't like that one. Hold control, double click, add back in. It's all messed up there. Press G, boom, it's sewn back in. So you can quickly uh, basically lay out your UVs as you're cutting them up and see the result kind of in semi real time over there by just by pressing G every time you do a cut. So let's add a seam up the side there and press G, whoops, press G. And then you can see it unfolds uh, into a straight line there. You could add another one there, G again, and see that's been cut up. So it turns into uh, another shell there. So that's one way that you can get either a base unwrap for your model or in some cases a final unwrap for your model, depending on how uh, the unfolding kind of turns out there and how satisfied you are with some shells being curvy or not. You might want to go and do some cleanup later, but uh, maybe not. Um, I've had a lot of uh, people actually uh, send me an email and say that, that it works really good and they can do their kind of final unwrap this way. So it uh, just kind of depends on how you like to work. So the other part of the update to the script is actually not something that I did, but something that Autodesk did. So I thought I would let everybody know. Uh, it looks like they've made the 3D Cut and Sew tool available in Maya 2017. So let's check that out. So I'm going to use my script here to export this file. And then I'm going to go over into Maya 2017, and I'm going to use my script to import that file. OK, so there's our same uh, asset there. Let's open up the UV editor. Uh, this is weird. I haven't used my 2017 in a while, so it's configured in a strange, different looking way that I'm not used to. But um, basically, you go into UVs, same as 2018, and you'll see there it is, the 3D cut and sew tool. Um, and then so like uh, the script uh, should work as well there. Now, what happened, I'm pretty sure, uh, is Basically, I think in one of the service packs, they've updated it. So the tool is now available. So if you go to help and you go to about Maya and this page comes up, you can see what service pack you're on here. It says I'm on update five. So I'm not sure when they implemented the tool, but if you get uh, update five, then you will have the 3D cut and sew tool in Maya 2017. So let's check it out and see if the script uh, works the same. So click the button, launch the tool here, enter the 3D cut and sew tool. Yep, sets the checkerboard and everything same. So let's uh, control click, remove, hit unwrap. And then uh, sure, let's cut an edge here, cut an edge here, cut an edge here, press G to unfold it, edge there, G unfold and cut. Um, so yep, uh, looks like it works exactly the same. So pretty cool. And one other thing that's really cool that I forgot to mention is actually 
when I um, coded up these buttons, basically I set some special code in here for the unwrap button to go into the history. And that's why it works when you press the G key or whatever. But I specifically didn't put these buttons into the history. And what that allows us to do is if we do a cut and press G, it'll unfold the UVs. But then if we change the checker map size and we do another cut and we press G, it's not going to change the checker map size again as the last command. It's only going to recognize the unwrap. And so if you're actually doing this through the Maya standard interface, it would be really annoying because you'd do a cut or whatever, and then you'd do the unwrap. And then if you did any of the other buttons in the menu, it would overwrite the unwrap and you'd have to come back and click the unwrap again. So that's pretty handy as well. If you've already purchased the script or the full script pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download it again to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself or you can get it in the full script pack. So take your pick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Without viewers like you, this channel would not be possible. If you like this video, please purchase something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have a tremendous day.